Hello friends, welcome to Java Tricky Program Series. So let's see what we have for today. So here I have a class full name which has two string variable first and last. And I have this constructor where we can pass this uh, first name and last name and we are setting it here. Then we have this equals method where we are checking if the passed object is same as the well object here by checking the first and last name whether they are equal or not so this seems like a simple implementation of equals method and then i have this hash code method where i am just uh, using these first and last name with some random integer multiplication to provide a unique hash code int value for all the different objects we will have so now i have this main method where i am creating a set and i am just adding a full name object where the first name is pankaj last name is kumar and then i am checking if this set contains the full name having the same same values pankaj and kumar so what should it prints so it seems simple because we already have an object with similar values and we have this equal method where we are just checking the first name and last name so and we know that this set contains it checks equals method to figure out whether the we have the value in the set or not so ideally it should print true let's just run this and find out what it's actually printing so if i run this it's actually printing false so why it is like that so uh, on uh, a simple looking it's uh, hard to find it out wh what is going wrong here but if you look closely here in this equals method the argument is full name so it's actually not overriding the equals method of object if you see the object class and here if i see the equals method so the argument is object so whenever we are calling this contains method internally it's calling the object class equals method and here it's returning true only when the reference is same so that's why it's returning false so if we say that full name f is equal to new full name and then i just add this f here and here if i check with value f then it should return true why because we are having the same object in both the places let's just find out so as expected it returned true so this is a very common mistake that people do why because uh, they miss to put this override annotation whenever you are overriding an any method make sure you put the override annotation so let's just fix this equals method and see like how we can implement it so we have already provided the hash code overridden method so i'll put override annotation over it here also i'll put override so it will throw error because in object class it is object so let's just put it as object now first of all we will need to cast it to full name before we check these values so how we would do that so first of all let's see that if o is instance of full name if it is true then only continue if not then obviously it's some different object and we can just return false so let me just put these in brackets So now 
if the past object is not of type full name we will simply return false now we can safely cast it because if the code goes to next line it means the past object is of type full name so i'll say full name f is equal to full name o now we have casted so here what we can do is just replace this o with f so this will actually check the passed object values with this object value so now let's just run this program and this looks fine because we have overridden the equals and hash code method both the methods and we have provided an implementation for equals and hash code so let's just run this so now as soon as we run this this equals method is getting invoked and here we are checking the first name and last name values so it's printing true so this this kind of question you will uh, mostly face in interview because uh, we should always uh, make sure that whenever you are overriding hash code or equals method you should override both the methods if you actually see the object class also here also it's written that note that it is generally necessary to override hash code whenever equals method is overridden to maintain the general contract so just remember this thing whenever you are overriding equals you should always override hash code and vice versa yeah thank you thanks for watching bye bye